Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's process video I wanted to share a hybrid layout with you using the July 2022 monthly template from Celine Studios. This is the template in its original form and then this is the layout I'm creating today. So let's get started. Alright, so you can see here how I transferred this digital layout into a printed format and so basically what I do is go ahead and add in Photoshop add all of your elements your photos your journaling and then uh, make your canvas 13 by 19 to print out on a 13 by 19 sheet and then slide the different layers off of the background paper and print them in the margins of your 13 by 19 sheet. And for this one, I also um, I cut out a piece from the back. I left one of the background papers on there um, just to help conserve a little more of the paper that I'm printing on. And you don't even notice it. So there's a little a little spot that's cut out from the layout itself and this way the thing I love about doing it this way is that you only have to print out what you actually need and so you don't have to print out the entire 12 by 12 pattern paper you can if you want to you can if your printing budget allows that but if you're trying to be more conservative if you're trying to uh, if you're concerned about the environment and things like that, then this is definitely uh, one way to help with that. And although, to be to be fair, scrapbookers aren't really worried about the environment in terms of paper use, but um, just just a fun kind of challenge. But uh, what I love about using these templates, I always say this, is that it helps me pre-plan a layout. And so that way these layouts come together pretty quickly. Uh, by the time you add all your elements to the layout and print it out, it's maybe 20 minutes and then another 20 or 30 minutes to assemble everything. And that's the fun part where you still get to play with layers and textures. Uh, you'll notice on this one, there were a couple of things that I left on the background page once I printed it. And that is, um, there's a digital stamp at the top left hand corner that says Summer Stories. And there's also some stitching that I left on the background and so that is sort of one it helps me to know where do it hear things when I go to put it together to honestly um, but it also allows you to use some of those digital stamps that otherwise might not get used and this is really all about leveraging supplies leveraging your digital supplies uh, stretching your physical embellishments. You can reprint digital collections over and over and over again. Uh, I think I forgot to mention that I'm using the Celine Studio Summer Stories collection for this layout. And so one of the elements that I liked in this collection was this little rhombus shape. And I had, I remembered that I had some of these little wooden rhombus shapes in my stash. They're from Allie Edwards. And so that created a cool little focal element, an icon, right, to use on the page. And another way to repeat that shape on the page through the little wooden embellishments. And uh, it's really cool. And then they, they also, those little wooden shapes have some little words. And so they help get some words on the payout, on the layout as well. So it's a win-win. And you'll notice how I just selected a few little space, a few little places to add those little embellishments. Um, just 
some little places where it made sense. On the original template, it gave you an option to put, it, it gave you some suggestions of where to add your embellishments. And I kind of took a little of a few liberties with that because I'm extra in that way. <laughs> And so those little rhombus shapes ended up, they kind of, um, they kind of take your eye from the lower left hand corner diagonally up to the right hand corner. And I think that works really well. And you'll see at the end, once I have all of those little shapes placed, that it worked out really nicely. Uh, also, some of the things that I've used from this kit were uh, the word strips. Always, I always make a point to print out a couple of those and include those in different places. And then the template showed a spot for the title uh, located underneath this photo. And instead of doing a digital title, I went for some physical alphabets. So these are just foam letters, foam alphabets from American Crafts, and I'm gonna just spell out in the city here. And that allows me to uh, bring in a little bit of navy here. It was kind of an unexpected color choice. There is a bit of blue in the Summer Stories collection. It's not quite navy, but this has uh, um, these alphabets have a navy on the top and then the sides are kind of metallic. So I don't know, it kind of felt like it worked and it was a pretty good decision because that's actually now is the first thing you see when you look at this page is the title. Um, so that's a win-win. <laughs> And then you notice in the original template, there was this little kind of film strip in the center. And there's a lot of different ways that you can use a little film strip like this. What I did was I put some of the little three by four journaling cards inside that film strip. And one of them I used for my date stamp. And that made a great home for that. The others, I just left them as they are. Uh, so I think that wraps up this layout. I do have a blog post that shares more of the details. You can get the product links below and also on my blog post. So I hope you'll hop over there. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.